Keverin Desert has now been updated to get rid of all known bugs and oversights. I might still have something, but at the moment I'm unaware of it. So why did I update it? The main thing was these cacti. I originally planned for them to be visible halfway between each layer of sand dunes. As a consequence, I, well, made them a lot shorter. And, well, even here you can see a barrel cactus visible halfway in between. Very clearly you can see that. However, that's not the only cactus. I see another one. Do you see it? They're kind of widely spaced, so you're not going to be seeing them too frequently, but here's another one. Another change that I made is with the Keverin River here. You might notice a lot of greenery around it. I cut the repeat width in half and extended the range outward more so I can get as much greenery around it as I possibly could, while still keeping a reasonable span, anyway. A lot of traffic going by in the distance. 18 wheelers. Here's a high speed maglev freight train going by at 192 mile an hour. Just to give you a sense of scale, consider this jump here. You can use the speed to tell just how fast that train really is going. Tank cars, you can see there's another one in the distance. And here you can actually see that they really are levitating. They're floating in the middle of, well, nothing. But it does give you the idea. And to show you the Kiverin River even better, well, I'll need some height. By the way, yeah, you can actually see shadows on there too. But here it is, the Keverin River. And you can see how far the greenery extends up from this. The white from the fast 18 mile an hour current that the river's got. The rock cliffs and these Keverin Mountains have not changed at all. They didn't need to be changed, so what's the point of changing them? And that pretty much concludes the foreground part. Oh yeah, there's one other thing about the foreground that I did. Notice the detailed texture for this sandy bottom at the closer part? Well, having liked these waving effect on these sand dunes, I incorporated that into the foreground. And yeah, it really came out quite nice. However, to really show you the upper reaches, yeah, you can actually see shadows in there, the tracks are hard to see, I need extreme height. And when I mean extreme height, I'm not joking. You might notice the sky getting a lot darker. One of the problems that I kind of was well aware of was the very sudden and abrupt change between the sand, let me average this out, I gotta love frame advance and cycle advance. But right in here, it was pure sand, but out here it was pretty much solid grass. There was a very sudden and abrupt change. So, I put in a gradient in here to kind of smooth that out so it blends in way better. And what do you know? It blends in really nice. Here's the coastline with all the farm fields, the cities, and stuff like that. You can see those quite clearly, all spaced about six miles apart roughly. I actually got that from my Minneapolis trips. I've noticed how spaced out cities typically were, towns, villages, and things like that. And just so you know, everything here is realistically to scale. So yeah, this is really what a thousand mile an hour is like. Notice the really dark sky. All these hills and mountains just going out so far out into the distance. Everything's going by so insanely fast. That's what I was trying to do there. <laughs> that was interesting. Slipped right in between there. That was actually what I was looking for. But how would you like to see some cacti between those sand dunes? For this, I need to get all these platforms and stuff out of the way. And the TikTok's getting really low. Well, here it is. You can see plenty of cacti in between these. And this is basically what it's like to glide over sand dunes like it is in my mind game. Well, kind of, anyway. These are only small ones. There's one way out there. Oh, wow, there's one way right way over there. But if you look closely, you can actually see shadows out here. There's a concrete divider. A lot of other things out there. 
This video was created by Elilalia. Thank you for watching.